Greetings fellow viewers, this is your boy Eduardo Agbo Tantimo Imanyang and welcome to our channel Design Genius. On today's tutorial we are going to be looking at um, the different type of door control methods that exist. Normally we have two types of door control method that exist. That is mainly the door closer and the floor spring. Now here we can see the door closer normally is mounted on the door, that is the frame. And we have the floor spring which is normally mounted on the ground. In this tutorial we are going to observe how the door closer system works, um, the functioning principle of the door closer system, the different organs that are there which permit a different type of motion that we have to start. Here is the simple door closer system that we have on solid work here and this model is the model HL100 so I'm just going to carry out the simple animation that is I'm going to try to close this so to try to close this I'm going to observe how we close the door and open the door now before I'm going to present to you the different changes that takes place inside this steel box what I'm going to do is I'm going to present to you the last the tutorial of last week that is the house that was drawn last week for the last week tutorial so here we have the door so I'm just going to take a section view so that we all can appreciate the view so here we're going to see our door closer system present so this is our door closer system here we have it with design genius and design genius logo so uh, with SolidWorks you can also draw your house you can also draw the plans of houses and other stuff and even draw other parts like this and art so without much ado we are going to look at the functioning principle of the door closer system we are going to start with this 3d structure now if you observe here you're going to discover that we have different parts we can see the spring we can see the closer arm so the the working principle of this closer system is very simple inside of this chamber we have oil here at this closer arm when the door when you apply a force on the door to open the door in reality what you're doing is you're creating a rotation movement at the level of the closer arm now when this happens, you can see that we have a, a piston that is found here which a system that looks like the gear and racket system now here we have the piston that applies a force and is pressing on the spring when this happens oil that is found inside this chamber is being forced to go the opposite direction and fill this chamber over here now when you want to open this door this is exactly what happens whereas to close the door you don't need to apply any force now look at what happens the energy that has been stored at this level it's going to generate what we call the spring force now the spring force is going to push on the piston which is going to turn to reduce this distance thereby trying to compress liquid that is incompressible so it's going to try to escape and it's going to go the opposite direction thereby closing the door but take note at about 70 percent oil is going to flow through the back check valve now when it flows through the back check valve it's going to produce additional pressure to completely close the door now here we have pressure release valve don't forget this door closing system could be used for household offices schools hotels now let's take for example in the schools let's say um, we have children that are playing with the door constantly so the pressure release valve help us in the case where um, let's say a great amount of force has been applied to close the door now there it could cause 
um, for example, the wearing out of different equipment or bring it to end. So what the pressure release valve does here is this. It ensures to regulate the pressure that is going out so as to reduce the effect on our system. So without much ado, I'm going to present the 2D of this structure so that we could um, understand together. So I'm going to take um, section view and I'm going to take a, a section view and once this is done, I'm going to go to normal tool and I'm going to present it this way. So here we have a piston. Here we have the springs. Here we have the closer arms and our feet can occupy this position or this position. So this is how the closer arm system functions. So please don't forget this is your boy Eduardo Agbo. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the YouTube page and please comment the video below. Let us know what you think. So see you next time, the next video, the next tutorial, next week. Stay blessed.